Okay, I just want to make this little video. I got the package uh, from Buzz1151. I want to thank you very much, Buzz, for the power adapter for this uh, Toshiba 305 CDS. And uh, it's virtually impossible to use it on this screen. The mouse pointer keeps disappearing. And UXW Bill told me it was in the, the, the type of monitor screens that they use. And that's just the way they are, because they use the, uh, uh, I don't know, some kind of a special screen that, that was cheaper. Okay, uh, it's only a, less than a five seconds in it. It's ready to start Windows 98. All right, this I don't understand. Pogoda, I don't know if that's a shortcut for programs or what. Squiggly one, I, sh I showed you that before. 386, press any key to continue. It's telling you there was a program associated with that, but it's not telling you what program it is. Um, System.ini, I, I know nothing about this stuff. But anyways, just press any key to continue. And it takes a while. You can hear the hard drive. Hear it? Come on. Okay. At least the mouse works better. I don't know what that... It doesn't stay on long enough for me to read it. Novell or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna get rid of that apocalypse. Delete. We'll delete that apocalypse. X XCOM. All right, so we got rid of that. I think what I'm gonna do here is empty the recycle bin. All right, it's got 132 items, so we're going to delete that and give us some space on this huge 2 gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to let this go. Um, when I plugged this monitor cable to my switch box up here, which I got off of eBay there uh, six or seven months ago, uh, it holds four, takes up the four um, monitors. So I got the Windows 7, I only got the one monitor, my main computer, and then uh, uh, the HP A305W, which is Windows XP, which is very, very slow at video editing. It's supposed to be a 2.7 gigahertz processor, but it's very, very slow. So that's number two, or actually A... B, and now this is a cable I had, so I reached it up around the back and um, plugged it into um, the back of this computer while this computer was on, and nothing showed up here. Um, it stayed on this display. So I guess you have to start up with, you know, this thing already plugged in. So, now, if I try to turn this, close this down all the way, I hope you can hear that, it starts squealing. There's no switch in here. Like some of them have a little button. There is no, there is none, but I don't know what, there must be a sensor in there that tells the screen uh, you close it. Because I'm going to close it so I can see this better, but obviously i got to keep it open so I can use the keyboard. And uh, so, anyways, it works fine now. Once I booted this computer up, then display showed here, and it did not show here. All these things like dark cloud and everything else, none of these work anyway. So I'm deleting the uh, the uh, doc file in the, in the, I guess it's in Microsoft Word 97 or something. Um, because if you try to open it, it says Word 97, Introduction, that's a master. These are, apparently there's a bunch of old DOS games, I guess, but they're not in here. Uh, the only one that is in here that w seems to work is uh, this Texas thing here on here. 
Let's see what this is. Sorry, days of home castle. Uh, story starts in the home castle. Uh, we don't need that. Some of you viewers out there will probably say, what's the matter with this guy? Deleting all this beautiful stuff you got in here. I'm not into games. I never was, but I did have a few games. Um, to this day, I cannot find the game Titanic Adventures in Time. It's in the shed somewhere. I can't find it. Um, that was a Windows uh, 3.1 and Windows 95, 98 program. I know... I know it'll work. Let's see what this one is. Gravel pit. <laughs> Something about a gravel pit. We don't need that either. These are all dark files. So as I was saying, and think straight, I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. All right, I got rid of all the others because they need disk and stuff, and there was some information here that I want to get rid of also. But this is the uh, this is this thing here that I was I showed you before. Let's see what that does. All right, I'm not interested in that, so we'll just close it. And this one you can exit out of. Okay. So I'm keeping I'm keeping that one. Okay, I'm gonna put in one of the best photo editing programs, easy to use. And I bought this way back when I had Windows 95, and I have it in Windows 7. It works. It's a lot easier. It's simple. I have GIMP, and I still can't use it. I still can't figure out how to use it. Well, we're going to try to put this. This is made for Windows 95 and 98, but I don't know if it'll work in here because this computer has only got 32 megabytes of RAM, but we're going to try to install that. MGI Photo Suite. It's one of the best photo programs, easy to use. Okay, English, yep. All right. Oh, boy, she goes in just like... You can't beat this program, I'm telling you. It's yeah, I can resize pictures and everything else. All right, let's see. We want to, what's next? Hopefully I got enough uh, memory for this. All right. All right, Program Files MGI Photo Suite SE. Boy, it's... Okay, all right, this is where it's going. I like things when they just go in easy like this. Okay, there she goes. The old familiar little... <laughs> I'll tell you, you can't beat these old programs. I've used this all the time. My wife uses it. My son uses it. I put it in all our computers. It's so much easier than the complicated programs. Yes, it's limited, but that's all right. We don't, we don't need the README file. I know how to use it. Finish. Come on, mouse, move. Okay. Let's uh, close that. Let's close this. All right, where did she go? Did she create a desktop icon for me? usually does. It might be in the programs. Oh, record, okay. Programs. All right. So when you get the photos, you can get them from uh, hard drive. You can make a photo album, make a slideshow. You can print your pictures. Make calendars and stuff. It's a base. It's a basic program. So if you want to get it, you can get it from uh, the hard disk. Um, of course, the graphics don't look to it that good on this computer. Kind of like um, like blotchy look. Ah, uh, telemarketers. Okay, that's installed. 
Now I'm going to put some pictures in here. I'll find something to stick in here. Just a few, just so I can have a uh, background on here. Okay, I'm doing a defrag now. I got rid of all those uh, games except for that uh, one with the cards, the gambling one. Uh, because all the others are not in the computer anyways. And I uh, deleted all the temporary files. As I remember, I think you can safely do that. So right now it's just doing its defrag. Been years since I seen uh, this screen for defrag. So we'll let that go. We'll come back in a little bit here. Maybe it'll be a little bit for you, but it'll be a very long time for me. Well, it's still going. Well, it's about 80, 81% complete now. Oh, 96% done. This is the uh, list of what's, um, you know, you can identify each one of these. And so far I haven't seen any uh, bad sectors, which is the one with the line going through it. So it's looking good so far, but we'll check it when it's all done. Okay, now let's see what this is here. Let's see what this is. Defragment C drive is complete. Do you want to quit this defragmenter? Uh, yeah. Oh well, I was not able to see if uh, any bad sectors in there, but I was watching it pretty much constantly while I was going through and uh, I didn't see any uh, bad sectors in there. I got the taskbar working. I got an MP3 playing in here as data. No, it actually it's a wave sound. Uh, it says 97%. Uh, I've been letting this run. It's about six minutes running right now. It's 97%. The battery is holding up. It only lasted 30 seconds the second time I tried it. The first time I tried it, it lasted about five minutes. Of course, we're getting a little choppiness on the, um, on the uh, audio here. It's cutting in and out. Not the greatest sounding laptop, but... Okay, let's try this one here. I'm not sure who's on these. I think that's all Ray, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh no, this is, uh... This is smoky green right here. Y'all met Ben, didn't you? Okay. So I'm just basically running this. Since Cam, and now we're going to take and copy this whole shebang over to here. And we're not going to move it. We're going to copy it. You can't move it off a CD anyways. So, 
course this thing's slow so it's going to take a while very slow it's going to take quite a while to move all these songs here into the music folder and we're just going to let it go we'll come back after now it don't skip now because I put these in the computer I'm playing them in the computer not off the CD she tethered them up with a big piece of rope but they didn't like being tied in the noose the very next swing once again they broke loose tore loose tore away kids keep your head down boys and hammer away alright I put a picture in here but boy it looks horrible Horrible. Uh, let's see what we got here. Six forty by four eighty, two fifty six colors. Now I changed it to twenty four bit, two color, and it didn't look any better. And if I changed it to sixteen and click it nope still looks horrible so we'll go back to two fifty six colors now take a look at this battery if you can read that it's 89%. There's 89% remaining. It's unbelievable. This has been running for about 15 minutes so far. Of course, I'm not running the screen here. So that would take some power. I'm using the external monitor. All right. I just finished uh, charging the battery. It ran for a very long time on the battery as I showed you early in this video and um, I got a background picture on it but it looks horrible these are pictures I took up in New Hampshire but it's horrible horrible uh, blocky and fuzzy and everything and I know that's gotta be it looks that way on this monitor here too so anyways I want to see how long this will run on the um, battery so I'm just gonna let it go well, it's 6.51 p.m., and the battery is still holding. But I took off the wallpaper that I had, the picture, because it's horrible no matter where I set the uh, thing. Even though I set it high as I could on this, uh, it don't, wor it don't uh, look good. So I just kept it plain blue with Windows 98 logo up here. Um, the battery is... Um, 89% uh, so the time is uh, 6 52 p.m. It was 6 36 uh, p.m. before well this has a USB port on the back but it's totally useless I had Windows 98 years ago and this is an old old uh, GE um, 16 megabytes not gigabytes megabytes uh, flash drive and there is no drivers for this as old as this is it no no drivers for it so you USB port on this is pretty useless remember these things used to cost quite a bit of money and these the, these flash drives are all very very old ones that I've had there's another one of these these all worked on Windows 98 but it will not work. You can't see that. It's faded out, but it's 256 megabytes. We'll try this in there. Okay. All right, this is the window I keep getting up. All right. Um, uh, search for the best driver for this device. Recommended. Display a list of all the drivers. Well, I wouldn't know what to even look for. So we'll just click this and uh, see options. Um, I don't have the driver's disk. I thought Windows 98 would put it in, but it doesn't. 
So um, it's just same thing. Um, nope. So you can't put any USB uh, flash drives in this computer, even though I got real, real old ones that go back to Windows 98. Um, <clears throat> Oh well, it's basically a toy. Well, it's a 7:11 p.m. and I just checked. It's 80, 79% uh, remaining. That's pretty darn good. It was uh, 6:36, so it's been running now quite a while on the battery. It's no longer plugged in. I'm going to try to install. Bad day at the Midway. This is one of these games that I used to play back in the 70s. Not in the 70s, in the 90s. <laughs> I don't know if it'll go in. But we'll try it. It's supposed to be for Windows 95. Set up. Okay. Oh, what's this? You should charge your battery. Unbelievable. The battery was just seventy nine percent. Instantly drops. But 718, and now the battery's X'd out. So we gotta shut it down if I can do it. 